what's up everybody welcome back to another video and last week we left off with prepping the schoolie floor for the subfloor so in this video we're gonna do the entire subfloor if that's something that might interest you you might want to stick around if you just want to watch a bus get built that's what we're here to do I think I showed you guys I dug out a bunch of the caulk like the body seam filler and a lot of the sheet metal under there and it's been raining here in Oregon and we were driving down the road and water was coming up through the floor so I think there's literal gaps in that floor I am using Sikaflex 291 I'm using this for all my stuff that I'm gonna seal now and I'm gonna go through today and we're dry times paint needed to dry this I'm gonna give it a whole day or two to dry and then we're gonna put kill mat down before we put our insulation and our OSB for the actual floor. We, this is Saturday, I'm not really trying to work today, but I need to get this in all those seams so that way, you know, it'll dry and I can move on. Because if I tried to do this in the kill mat in one day, I couldn't do it because this needs to dry. We're out here on a Saturday, we're just gonna fill all those lines real quick and then that'll be it for the day and then the next day we'll be doing something else. Let's get in there and get it done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The floor is completely prepped and we're on the subfloor mission now. So we went back and we got some, some caulk in all of the old body lines and we're gonna let this dry overnight. And well, this is Saturday. I'm not touching this bus again until Monday. So that'll give everything in here a nice few days to really dry because it's cold and rainy outside. So it's just hard for things to dry. And then Monday, we're going to come in here, I'm going to put some kill mat down, and then Wednesday, we're going to be putting the foam board and the OSB down. That's when we'll really start to see things change around here. You gotta let this dry. That's something to think about when you're building, is always think about your dry time. Let's go put this bus up, let it dry for a couple days, and then we'll be back on it Monday. Hello. Welcome back. It's Sunday. Now, I was doing everything in my power to not work today, but that just didn't work out. Because we got a call this morning that Jaylena is going to be induced tomorrow at 7 p.m. Which means everything I was planning on doing before she went into labor, I got to do today. Now, we need to use this bus to haul stuff around and this paint just keep, this floor keeps getting jacked up. The kill mat is a sound deadener but I'm also gonna use it as a vapor barrier and I'm gonna cover this whole floor with this. And then once this stuff is down, I won't need to worry about the floor getting jacked up anymore. I'm putting this on today and then by the time you see this video, we will already have had Ember. Woo, crazy. So I'm a little spooked and a little tripping right now, but what we need to do is get this on today. That's our mission. That's what we're gonna hop into it right now. I don't think I'm gonna get fancy with camera angles because I just need to get it done. Let's go.
Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. So I got kill mat on the whole floor. Now kill mat is actually a sound deadener, but I'm using this as a sound deadener and like a vapor barrier. If you can see, I've got the kill mat kind of rolled up on all the sides and all the lips. So no water can come up through the floor, through any of the seams and no water, like it, it just it completely seals it up. That's it for today. And then we're going to the hospital tomorrow, probably having our baby girl. And then I'll try and get back on this when I can. The next thing we're gonna do is put pink foam board down and some OSB. So by the end of this video, this will have a subfloor and you guys will probably meet my daughter. Wild, okay, we'll see you another day. Peace. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's Monday and it has been a while since I started this video. I had a baby. <laughs> I was at the hospital for a week doing that and now we're back at the shop trying to get things figured out with that. But it's Monday, we are back on the minion build and our mission today is to put a subfloor in. So if you can see that kill mat down there, we are going to, a lot of people like to frame their subfloors. I honestly don't, I personally don't see why I would want to do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put, we are using one inch pink foam board because I, you know, I don't want to lose my head height for another half inch. And then we're going to use OSB and we're going to glue it all down. I'm thinking what's going to happen is I'm going to stick the pink foam board in there. I'm going to get my dimensions, kind of cut around stuff. And then I'll come out here, lay that down on some OSB, use it as a template, cut it. I'll glue the pink foam board down and I'll glue the plywood down. And then I'll kind of move up and throughout the bus. Our mission today is to get that subfloor in there today. Let's get into the work, the work day. Okay, I didn't think this was gonna be too bad. I got the pink foam board down, I got the OSB over it, and then I remembered that I was supposed to inset the shower pan in the subfloor, and I needed to fit within that window. I had to lift this up, I don't think I filmed any of it, and cut it, it was a whole mission, and it had to be done before the glue set up. This is from the shower pan is from uh, Our Way to Rome, and I will put a link in the description. It's super rad, because in Vin Diesel, I set the shower pan on top of the floor, and it raised the floor up in the shower, and my head was hitting the ceiling, which is why I had to cut the roof out. I feel like if you're building the bus and headroom is important, insetting it in the subfloor is a super awesome thing that can be done. Our mission today is get the subfloor done. 
we're just going to keep going. I think that's going to be our hardest part is cutting around all this here. Let's get back after it. Look everybody, this is Ember. She's already building her first bus. Come on, let's go over here. Let's, you gotta step on this, put the glue down. This is Ember, I just wanted her to say hi. The subfloor is done. I feel like I haven't put in a gnarly work day like that in a while. The whole subfloor is done. I might put some caulk or some spray foam in the cracks and edges, but maybe. But that's pretty much how I did it. I just kind of fought the fight. And I think that's uh that's, that's bus building in a nutshell. Sometimes you don't know how to do something and you just one step after another and you figure it out. So here we are. I don't want to do anything else because I use glue to put this floor down and I want to let it really set up over the next 24 hours. I'm done in here today. And next thing we got to do is oh, we're going to put our, our walls up and then we'll put a floor down, we'll put a seat in here. Look, Halo came to say hi. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. I know I learned something. And I'm really stoked about that flush mount shower pan. Check that out. Woo! I'm going to put this little wood insert in there. And it'll be a smooth transition into the shower. going to be super trick. And I will put a link in the description to the people who make that shower pan. You make custom sizes. And I'm also going to put a link to uh, the glue that I use in this video. I'm pretty hyped, you know? I feel like it's starting to get somewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're not already subscri subscribed, consider subscribing, because all we do is bust stuff here that sounds cool to you, and you want to learn or just see stuff done. Hit that little thumbs up, hit comment, you know, all the good stuff, it does help. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Isaac, signing out. Peace.